You're at the office, you're getting ready for a big presentation, you're expecting an important phone call from your boss, and your cell phone rings. You get dead air, and it's a pre-recorded message intended for somebody else other than you. Now maybe this isn't the first time that you've gotten this call, and maybe you've gotten this call 10 times, hundreds of times, or even thousands of times. What should you do about calls for somebody else, and how does this happen? Hi, I'm Ian Linklip. I'm a consumer protection attorney from Southfield, Michigan, and I love my job. Every day, I get to help real people with real problems, protecting consumers from debt collectors, banks, finance companies, and credit reporting agencies. Now, there are two main reasons why it is that you may be getting calls intended for somebody else on your cell phone using an auto dialer or pre-recorded messages. The first of these reasons is that you may have a number that was previously assigned to somebody who had a lot of debt. Cell phone companies don't just throw away phone numbers when somebody turns in or gives up their phone. They reuse those numbers. Regularly, people who give their cell phones back to these companies are people who have not paid their bills. So if you've recently been issued a cell phone number to a cell phone, you may have gotten somebody else's phone number and that person may be getting calls for a debt collector. Those are calls that you haven't consented to and the calls to you may violate the TCPA. Now, the second way that you may be getting calls intended for somebody else is that a debt collector may have received what's referred to as a skip trace report identifying your phone number as belonging to someone else. A skip trace report is a kind of a report that tells a debt collector when and how to reach an individual who owes money. These reports regularly have keystroke errors and other kinds of errors that may misidentify a cell phone as belonging to somebody other than the person that they're trying to reach. If you've been receiving calls to your cell phone without your consent that are intended for somebody else, your rights under the TCPA may have been violated. If so, you need to keep a log of the date, time, and phone numbers from which you're receiving these calls. You can download a sample log from my website for free at www.consumerlawyers.com. Remember to save any pre-recorded messages that you may receive to your cell phone, and remember that if you can talk to a live person, always tell them to stop. Ask them to stop if you don't want to receive any of these calls and keep a record of that fact in the log. Why am I telling you all this? Because if you're watching this video right now, you probably had questions about what to do with the phone calls that you're receiving for somebody else. If you still have those questions after watching this video, you can call me at area code 248-208-8864 or you can email your questions to info at consumerlawyers.com. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Linklip, and remember, if you don't stand up to protect your rights, no one else will.